Hey everyone, welcome back to Hockey Lessons and today's video I'm thrilled to bring to you openings of Japanese starter decks. I have the Straw Hats deck and I have the Warlords deck. Uh, unfortunately, even though I ordered two starter decks, I didn't get that bonus of getting a pack of sleeves for the Don deck for getting two starter decks, but to be fair, I did order these as soon as it was announced, so I guess I was too early for that. Anyway, the boxes look fantastic. They look like, you know, like this game's really pushing the whole manga art thing, we know this, and uh, the manga art is very nice and clean on the box, and they're kind of, like, they have the thickness. They kind of look like a manga. If you put it up on your shelf next to all your mangas, they will look like they belong there. You'll have to excuse the fact that my One Piece manga collection is pretty small at the moment. I started out reading digitally, and I have made the switch to print, but so far I only have one book of, of One Piece in print. But I have Skypea through to Order 7 on order, so $300 later I will have that soon. Alright, so I'm going to split this video up into two. We'll do one for the Straw Hats and we'll do one for the Warlords. So you can watch the one that you want to watch, and then if you feel like clicking over to the other one, you can. Alright, for this one, we're getting into the Warlords deck. Let's get cracking. Alright, here we are, opening up the Warlord deck. And doesn't it look nice? Uh, I think the box for the Straw Hats looks a little bit better, because Crocodile is covering too much stuff here. So in our uh, little manga panels here, we can see Jinbei, we can see Boa Hancock, Let's see Dracula or Mi Mihawk. There's Croc. And there's Dolphlamingo. Oh, and then we can see uh, Kuma. There's a few Warlords not representative here though, because not enough space for them all. Now we can see it comes with a Crocodile Leader and a Dolphlamingo SR. Alright, let's open this up. I have already dealt with the tape on the sides because I don't want you to waste your time watching that. So let's get into it. Come on out. Everything's out of that. Now we have the play mat. If you want to have a look at it, it's, it's got all the uh, zones, but I don't think this game really needs the zones. It's not that complicated. And as I noted in the Straw Hat video, in the life area, it has just future-proofed itself and put six slots in. Maybe down the line we're going to get leader cards with six life. We shall see. Alright. Here we are. One side has Crocodile at the front and the other side has Dolphy. So we will open the Croc side first. Here is the leader card, and it does look fantastic. Um, just like the box, I feel like it's it's a little bit like the crocodile's taking up too much space, so you get less uh, less bang for your buck as far as foiling on the card goes, with all the uh, map lines and so on. Now, I posed a question in the straw hat box opening: Will he was a red leader. Will this blue leader have a different color back than Luffy? Let's see. Yeah. Nope. It's red. So all leader cards are red on the back. Which, you know, that makes sense. It's just that the first one that I happened to see was red. So now we know. And now we have the 
Crocodile SR. Uh, I can't remember his ability completely. I think he's a blocker. And he's got a Don one something, something. So we have two copies of uh, this. Looks very good in the foil. The, uh, with the map lines, love the map lines. And the, uh, needs a smug last night, doesn't he? And this is a character card, so this has a blue back. It's very clean. I think the graphic designers have done very well on this. So now we have Gecko Moira. And I think this is a very unfortunate framing. Uh, they should have put a little bit of his body into the shot because it just looks like a big, you know. Uh, so we have two copies of Moira, um, which is weird because he counts as a common, but you have to buy a second starter deck to finish a playset of this lad. And now we have Jackie or Mihawk. Probably the coolest of the Warlords. Looks good. And now we have um, Santamaro. I think he's in it, if I remember correctly, is his name. Not entirely sure why he's in the deck, because he isn't a Warlord. He's more of a Marine, but there is a little bit of synergy with the Kuma stuff. So there he is. And now we have probably the briefest stint as a warlord, Blackbeard. And uh, yes, two copies of Blackbeard. So far, two copies of everything was shown so far. And now we have an event card. I can't remember what the translation to the name of this event card was, but it's crocodile related. There he is, making a sandstorm. Four copies of this event card. Next up, we have something Kuma related in these, this event card. Um, I can't remember what this card does. I've been practicing the Straw Hat deck, but I haven't really touched the Warlords yet, so I'm going to need the translations on hand as I play with these cards. Now, this is clearly a Love Love Beam card. There she is, a Bowie Hancock. Letting Luffy know how she feels. Two copies of this. And, and then we have the Don. The Don cards. Ten of those. White and green back. And now we're on to the second half of the deck. Let's open this up. Yeah, Doflamingo, two copies. Uh, what a schmug prick this guy is. And we have, um, I can't remember his name, and depending how far you are into the anime, it'd be a little bit of a spoiler for you, for me to say who this guy is. Uh, he comes in after the uh, time skip, so most people will know who it is. And we've got Boss Jinbei. Despite being a warlord, we never actually see him as a warlord in the anime, but he still gets represented in this deck. So it's fair enough. He's earned his spot. As well as Trafalgar Law. I like the art on this. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice background. Um, yeah. And now we have Kumar, who ate the pawpaw fruit. Fruit. This card looks better than this layout. Like this is an anime screenshot, and we have this this spot here where the text guy cheats, gives them a cheat for making the card full art. Um, some, some cards will look alright with, some cards it won't. This, this one looks okay. And then we have obviously the best Warlord, uh, 
everyone's favorite, it's buggy. The, the thing is, when these cards have this blank space here, but then there's no actual text for it, that is annoying because it's just, you, you come on, you could have given us something there. So we have four copies of buggy OP card. And now we have more Kumas, or perhaps this is actually a pacifista card. Might be a pacifista card. I can't remember. And then we have everyone's favorite warlord, Bowie Hancock. Four copies of her, and that is, that's it for the deck. So there you have it. We have a full deck of clean cards. All right, so that's the Warlord deck. Uh, click over to the next video, if you haven't already seen it, where I open the Straw Hat deck. And while you're at it, if you could give us a like and a subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you're really fe feeling it, you can check me out on Twitter, at Hacky Lessons. And I'll see you over at the Straw Hat video.